What's going on guys? It's Michael and today I'm going to be giving you a review for the long-awaited Avatar The Way of Water. It is once again written and directed by James Cameron as it takes place 13 years after the original movie. We follow Jake Sully living with his newfound family formed on Pandora. Once a familiar threat returns to finish what was previously started, Jake m must work with Natiri and the army of the Navi race to protect their home. It's honestly pretty crazy that we're finally able to talk about this movie, because I remember being in first grade when the first Avatar came out in December 2009, and the impact it had on cinema was immeasurable, not only in terms of its visual effects and the 3D at the time, but also the world of Pandora and how it was uh, a form of escapism at the time. It The first Avatar was honestly what sci-fi epics can truly be in terms of scale. As for the first movie, I find it to be really enjoyable. Uh, obviously, the visual effects are astonishing, despite the story being kind of familiar and told better in movies like Dances with Wolves and Pocahontas. I still find it to be a really enjoyable movie, and re and rewatching it yesterday before the new one, I still think it holds up very well. With all that in mind, I was really curious to see what James Cameron had in store in terms of the world of Pandora and its characters, not only in this movie, but in the few sequels that will be coming out in the next few years. I remember being in first or second grade and hearing the words Avatar 2 and Avatar 3, with Avatar 2 originally being scheduled to be released in December 2014, with the third movie being scheduled for December 2015. Obviously, all these years later, that didn't happen. There was even a time during the early 2010s when James Cameron had a completed script for Avatar 2, but decided to throw, away, throw it away in the trash because it was missing a few key elements. And if you know James Cameron, he is a perfectionist and he will take all the time he needs to make the best movie he can. Part of the reason why this took 13 years to be released and also the advances of technology that has happened over the past few years. It is now December 2022, and we're finally able to see what James Cameron's been cooking for the past 13 years. I was able to see the movie last night in IMAX 3D, and after watching it, I could confidently say that this movie was well worth the wait. I'm just going to state the obvious. The visual effects in this movie are absolutely incredible. You could tell how much effort and time was put into the world of Pandora, Pandora and all the motion capture that was put into it. It is by far a leap forward when compared to the first movie. There's also a lot of epic action sequences, especially in the last hour. The biggest leap in technology has got to be the underwater sequences. James Cameron could have went for CGI in terms of these sequences, but he decided to go a leap forward and had all the actors train and do all these sequences underwater. And the final result was very impressive and it made the movie even more immersive. This movie really is about family at heart and I love the new additions to the cast, especially the Sully family. They add a lot of heart into this movie that wasn't previously seen in the first movie, or at least not a whole lot of, and it really adds to the movie's emotional weight. Despite the three hour runtime, I was never bored. It's pretty rare to see movies that have such long runtimes take advantage of that, but movies like The Batman and The Way of Water just really comes to show how much can be accomplished with runtimes that are like two hours and 55 minutes to up to three hours. A lot could really be accomplished if you take the time. If you're a fan of the first Avatar movie, this is a must watch. It is a great sci-fi epic from one of the greatest directors of all time, James Cameron. This is a movie that must be seen on the biggest screen possible, especially in IMAX 3D. And with all that said, I am going to be giving Avatar The Way of Water an A-. Thank you all so much for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like rating, and don't forget to leave your thoughts on Avatar The Way of Water in the comments below. I got a few more videos planned this week, so stay tuned for that. And with all that said and done, I will see you all on the next one.